Welcome to the Radio Communication Assembly 2023, RA23, just prior to the World Radio Communication Conference, WRC23, being held here in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Donna Batea Murphy, who is the Senior Vice President of Global Regulatory for Viasat. Donna, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. No stranger to ITU studio. We've, we've chatted many times before. So Donna, tell me, what's the significance of the ITU Radio Communication Assembly for you? The Radio Communications Assembly is the culmination of four years of technical studies, reports, recommendations, and it'll now set the priority for the next four years, including the leadership that'll get us there. Personally, I'm honored to have been chosen to be the vice president of Working Party 4B and will lead the efforts on 5G and 6G for satellites. And what do you think the biggest issues are going to be faced here? I think that the biggest issue is just setting the priority for, for the next four years. But with respect to specific issues, uh, IMT 2030, which is 6G, is is hot topic, as well as increasing the capability and capacity of broadband and the hot topic of the day of space sustainability, as well as uh, gender neutrality in uh, ITU leadership. And what is Viasat's biggest issue here at RA23? As an international telecommunications operator, all the issues here are important to us. But if I had to pick one, it would be space sustainability. We're a global satellite operator which means we have expertise and experience in space technology and operation. And we recognize that it is important for the rules of the road to allow for everyone to be able to benefit from the space economy. This includes access to shared uh, finite spectrum and orbital resources for everyone. And finally, let me ask you, how have you found the tone and the spirit of this year's Radio Communication Assembly? That's a really important question, because not only does that impact this meeting, but the tone and spirit could set the stage for next week's treaty conference. As you know, in today's geopolitical climate, uh, things are complex and they're difficult, especially to reach a global agreement on something, but that makes it a bigger necessity to work together. Not that I'm biased, but I think the fact that the ITU at its core is driven by inputs by engineer means that for the most part, we're heading towards a technical truth. And that helps all around for us to get to a positive outcome. And finally, the tone really does matter. Uh, the fact that the UAE, the host nation, has done such a wonderful job at this uh, meeting, making sure everything's organized and people feel welcome. For that, I thank them, and that's going to have a huge impact next week. Well, Donna, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. It's always a pleasure to have you here, and uh, look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you've enjoyed this interview, then uh, do tune in to the ITU YouTube channel, as well as our SoundCloud or wherever you get your podcasts from, uh, for further uh, interesting interviews. And for further information, please check out our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.